Good morning, everybody. This is Megalink Joland here. We are going to be continuing our Let's Play of Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And I, of course, am your host, Megalink Joland. So, if you're joining me now for the first time, or if you're new to my channel, we have been streaming Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom as one of my uh, Let's Plays through uh, the Kingdom of Hyrule and this fantastic game that came out almost six months ago. Anywho. Our next destination is going to be finding a Dragon's Tear, or Impa thinks that the mystery of the Geoglyphs might be connected to something in the Forgotten Temple, so that's where we're going to be going. The Forgotten Temple located in the uh, Herba Provinces. And of course, there's no stable nearby. I may have done some uh, off-screen recording time to gather up more supplies, uh, get some more uh, weapons, like this sword I'm carrying right now. And we got some shoes coming up. Question is, how do we get there? Is this it? Well, according to the map, uh, that little uh, glowing uh, yellow spot, we must be we must be getting close. We have arrived at the Forgotten Temple. Now, how do we get inside? That entrance is blocked. Here's another way in. Here's Kato. Oh, Link. I'm pleased to see that you've come here as well. To be honest, Lady Impa deduced that there's something uh, related to the geoglyphs here. It took some effort for us to get up here, but we managed it. But then Lady Impa grew impatient. The moment I took my eyes off her, she went deep into the temple all by herself. Once I finished mourning the balloon, I planned to hurry after her. Okay, so it looks like we have to go after Impa. She's somewhere in the depths of this temple. And of course there are monsters. And here I was hoping to avoid a fight. Oh well. Okay, better heal up. <clears throat> Let's 
See if there's anything in these boxes. Well, if you can't make a bridge, or if you don't see a bridge, make one. That takes care of them. And I can't carry any more shields. Take our bridge and expand it. Yikes, this is one big bridge I made. Will that hold? You could always climb up here. But I felt like being creative. And look at that, there's a shrine. Once we activate it, we can fast travel. And I think I see Impa. Yep, that's her. The Maya Yisayushi Shrine, if I'm pronouncing that right. Let's complete the shrine trial, then check up with Impa. This one is building blocks. Pretty simple. You just had to match this block to look exactly like this one. And we got a construct here.
carry any more weapons. Okay, this one's going to be a little bit more difficult. Start off with this. Put it like this. And then finally, ta da! Trust me, it was a lot more difficult when I played this on my off screen time. that we get a blessing of light. Now let's check in with Impa. Oh, Link. Thank you again for your help for with the balloon. I believe there's something related to the geoglyphs somewhere in this temple. I'm searching so far, but in vain. These chambers are enormous and will be difficult to task at best. Where would it be? Hmm. Maybe further down? Well, it's up to us. As usual. Okay, that goddess statue was not like that before. <laughs> hmm? What's this? Some sort of chamber? Looks like a tomb of some sort. Maybe a gravestone? What's with this chamber? Hey, it's a map of Hyrule. Hey, this must be the map of the Geoglyphs. Let's take a picture of this. These carvings match exactly those of the geoglyphs. Ah, this place! Lady Empa, let's head down. We must investigate up close. There, upon these walls. Are those not geoglyphs? What could this mean? I believe this was uh, the first one that was the geoglyph on the edge of the wall. As for the next painting, according to the floor map, it's near Rito Village. It seems the location of the other geoglyphs from the wall are marked on the floor as well. 
I can hardly believe my what my eyes behold. Who could have guessed this old ruin still has still such secrets? It is said that the geoglyphs appeared all over Hyrule during the upheaval when the Princess Zelda went missing. How are they connected to those images here? There's no time to dawdle. Let's hurry and investigate the remaining geoglyphs. Mm. Uh, Lady Impa, perhaps you should rest a before such a tiring journey. Oh. Link, if you happen to see a geoglyph during your travels, I urge you to investigate this matter as well. If more strange visions are waiting at the other geoglyphs like the one you already experienced, well, perhaps they will provide clues to, oh, that could uh, lead us to Princess Zelda. These images do seem to reflect the geoglyphs. And maybe dragon's tears are present in, uh, at the other geoglyphs, just like the one you already found. If you intend to investigate the geoglyphs, I suggest... If you investigate the geoglyphs, courageous one, perhaps you should uh, make a copy of the map. Way ahead of you, Impa. Tear with a tear. Now, what does that mean? Looks like a scimitar. Uh, looks like some sort of demon. A stone. Uh, I don't know what this is. Obviously, the master sword. Uh, some sort of temple. The poor pad. Uh, I don't know what this is. A uh, symbol of a man. A woman. A dagger. Hmm. This obviously is Hyrule Castle. Okay, I think we found what we came here for. Let's investigate those geoglyphs. Let us fast travel back to the previous shrine. That'll save them some time in traveling. And trust me, that's exactly what we're going to want to do. Alright, one fast travel later, because trust me, this is what we need to do. Yeah, too bad we don't have a horse on us. What's over here? <laughs> Discovery. <laughs> Rowan playing well. Wait, this is leading us into the depths.
Well, at least there's a light real close by. Okay, let's make us a light bulb. Yeah. Yeah. I can't carry any more uh, weapons. Oh, we got two night swords, so maybe we can get rid of one. That wasn't worth it. Uh, let's make a mental note of this, because uh, that was a prestige weapon. Across the River of Gloom. We arrived at the uh, Yukorika Shrine, if I'm pronouncing that right. Let's dispel some of the darkness here. Light Rude dispelled the darkness and brightened up the surrounding er area. Travel quite a way. Yeah, let's explore the depths for a while. See these glowing little things? They're called posts. You're going to want to collect a lot of them. They can provide some uh, useful goodies. Goodies such as bomb flowers, armor, you name it. And a zombie. <laughs> There's a style enemy. to purify the gloom once we get back to the surface. If we take damage from a gloom attack, it'll temporarily uh, disable one of our hearts.
I'll be farming for Zonite, uh, for more Zonite on off-screen uh, times. Uh, same thing with uh, collecting posts. Yeah. Okay, I see another light route. Drina Cannon Mine. Well, looks like we just arrived at a new location. Uh, too bad there's no light bulbs around here. Well, we're just gonna have to make one. Too bad we don't have uh, Unobo's uh, stage ability yet. It'll be good for mining up uh, stuff like this. I did not mean to do that. like this, I miss uh, the remote bombs from uh, Breath of the Wild. Yeah. And I just lost my sword. A little stamp as a reminder for... Mining Zonite. <laughs> we don't have a Goron mining weapon on us either. Look at that, we're close to the uh, light route. Had to get contaminated by gloom, but oh well. The Nikaki light route. I think that's how you pronounce it. Anyway, let's lighten up the area.
light rune dispelled the darkness and brightened up the surrounding area. Ah, much better. Now, uh, mental note, uh, most of the uh, shrines are located right underneath all above a light root, so you might want to keep a note about that. Jocelyn Shrine, Nijoshin Light Root. That's just an example. There's our horse. Let's fast travel. <laughs> Going up. And of course it's raining. Sorry to leave you out here like that, Epona. Giddy up! I mean, yeah, we're gonna have to fast travel all the way back to the uh, Terabithia provinces or the Banafa provinces. Yeah, it, it makes up for it with the fast travel that Epona provides us. Uh, assuming we don't run into a cliff. Picks up some stamina shroom mushrooms. Uh oh, company. Ow, that wasn't nice. Bullseye. Sorry, Mr. Wolf. And my construct bow is damaged. Back 
Back to adventure. Huh. Alongside the never-ending uh, distraction of collecting up uh, additional materials, such as spicy peppers and even the stamina mushrooms. Wake the Hinox. Sundalion, every little bit helps. This uh, valuable plant is uh, good for creating materi cooking uh, dishes for uh, purifying gloom. So again, every little bit helps. Poor birds get trampled all the time. Pass that well. Yeah. Did I just hit something? Why did I jump off? Huh? Hmm? Ah! Uh, things were your help earlier. Uh, he's not holding on to anything. Okay, that's a weird glitch. Uh, I'm sure it'll... Uh-oh. Raising climate. Uh, thank goodness we got some warm, uh, warm stuff on us. Warm clothing helps. We are going the right way, aren't we? Yeah. Something tells me maybe not. Drena Foothill Cave. Yeah, something tells me this may not be the right way to Rito Village.
<laughs> hey, fairies. And a bullfrog. Maybe this was worth a little detour after all. Whenever you see a fairy, you want to pick one up. Because if you run low on health, uh, they can revive a few of your hearts. And we got a booble gem. I guess we'll come back to this uh, part of the provinces later. Take Epona. Huh. Don't ask me how they do it. Uh, oh. I wonder what kind of rewards I have. Hey. Huh. Uh. <laughs> Look at that mug. Ah, oh, towing harness. That'll be helpful. Oh. Trust me, it'll be helpful for, like, a major side quest. Okay, we can change our, uh, our trousers. We, uh, we're not in a in cold climates again just yet. Uh, turquoise pen is going to be our next destination. Spicy peppers, because trust me, we're going to need them. And here comes the rain again. Coming from the stars. I'm a Green Day fan, what can I say? I just love that song. Oh, sorry, little fox. Shrine up ahead. <clears throat> hey, nice, more dazzle fruit. I vaguely remember these rings. A shrine used to be here. 
Well, the Breath of the Wild Shrine. Easy. I wonder we can get up there. I mean, it's a shrine. It's better be worth it. Pick up a rush room. a new bell. Sona Pond Shrine. I like coming to this run because you can get a lot of apples here and a lot of lumber. Lumber you can use to sell for uh, rupees. Which is something I normally take advantage of. This one is Missing Pathways. First thing we're going to do is use Ascend, obviously. <coughs> and again. Not exactly what I had in mind, but it works. Fire arrows. Worth it. Take the movable cube. Oh, I forgot to rotate it. Use the scent. Ascend. Hmm. 
I have an idea. It's going to involve using recall. the magic. Ta-da! And that's how I roll. Or in this case, that's how I go up. Visitor to the Shrine of Light. That which imprisons and purifies the ancient evil. You have done well to reach this place. Offer this uh, light that will cleanse you of evil. Light of Blessing. Just one more and we can increase our stamina or our hearts. Fresh fruit from the earth. I like to collect a lot of apples, so... Uh, for, like, restoring health purposes. those wandering trees. Gold apple. Oh no, there's a blood moon coming. So yeah, there will be cycles every uh, so often called Blood Moons. This is going to be one of them. As I'm sure some of you will remember from Breath of the Wild.
fresh out of beacons. Okay, the music's changing. Here comes the Blood Moon cycle. Blood moons rise. When its red glow shines upon the land, the aimless spirits of slain monsters return to flesh. Just as they did in a war long past, the world is threatened once again. Oh yeah, that's the Blood Moon Cycle. Now, I never thought I'd say this, but uh, personally I prefer Breath of the Wild's uh, Blood Moon Cycle. And the dialogue that comes with it. So the next time I see one of these things, I'll just probably just cut through them. I'm sorry. Let's grab a rock hammer. It'll be useful for mining. Get ourselves a few Hyrule herbs. And let's get back on Epinet. Yeah, going back to the first Blood Moon cycle, there's no way to avoid the first one. At least the dialogue that comes with it. And it's with Hudson's number one fan again. Let's help him out. Let's see if he'll let go. Yeah, it works. All right, do your stuff. You do realize.
realize you're still talking about a signpost, right? Good, but what can you do? I see smoke towers. That means there's a uh, stable nearby. Due to recent attacks on folks who are distracted by the dropped objects be careful pay attention to your surroundings and don't go carelessly poking around suspicious objects Tabanatha bridge uh, stable owner sorry again if I pronounce that wrong hey some fire for it that should be, that should be useful reach the next stable. Now the question is, is there a shrine nearby? And we've just discovered a well. This well. Water from quality, fair, moss grove, extensive, bright calf, present. Alright, that's everything. I'll tilt it down. Uh, what are you doing? Uh -huh. uh, what are you doing in a place like this? Although, I'm in a place like this. Hey, you want to happen to be a well enthusiast? Uh, of course. Thought so. My name's Freya. I have a deep love for wells, too. <laughs> wells are endlessly fascinating. Their damp environment, their unique systems of life. How they stay cool, even how it's hide. Well, enthusiasts just get it. The appeal of a good well, that is. My dream is to travel around every single well throughout Hyrule. After scouring the ancient texts, I could have I'd, I'd learned that there are 58 wells. Sadly, I haven't been able to look at their exact locations. But do you happen to have any interests? Could you tell me any wells you know of? I'll reward you, of course. You got a deal. Here's what I found. So, five of them. Nice. Okay, we're going to want to be keeping a lookout for this woman. Where are the wells? Side quest activated. This rock will set it to be moved. Drowned in tar.
Ooh, treasure. A purple rupee, nice. Let's go back up. I guess we can keep going. All right, I'll take them. Oh, do you need to speak with Banchi? We're caught up in our conversation. I'm from Rito Village of Northwest. Though there are... Times are tougher I'm from. Merchants are able to reach my village because of the blizzard. We're, unf we're fortunate for the kind folk uh, from the stable sharing their supplies with us. It's thanks to them that the children still have full bellies. Oh. Don't mention it. The Rito have uh, just as good neighbors to us. We're just returning the favor. Let me know if there's anything you need from us. I can arrange to have it sent here and then pick it up for you and carry home. Words cannot express my gratitude. Hmm, sounds like trouble in Rito Village. Uh, pot lid, can't carry any more shields. It wouldn't be stable anyway. Edson putting up another sign. Again. I'll help you out again. Only if it's something in it for me. Yep, he's standing all right. Ah. <laughs> all right, thank you for the stuff. See you around. What are these guys doing? I'm gonna train again today to become an all-time great Rita Warrior. Rita Warrior? Looks like we got a fine mini game here. Ah. Oh. Eh, sure. I'll do it.
Okay, I think I know what I'm supposed to do. I think I got the hang of this now. Overall, ready? Oh. Oh, that was fun. to read a village. What this guy's problem is. Yeah, it's a rescue. Well, actually, let's come back for him later. He's going to be part of a major shrine, uh, uh, side quest for unlocking all the great fairies. <laughs> Apple and I can't get through there. <laughs> Steady. You know what, let's make a map of this just in case. There we go. Uh, 
used up all of that bonus uh, stamina. We scared them off. Again. All right. As soon as he calms down, let's see uh, if they'll work. Careful crossing the bridge. <laughs> yeah, Hepana knows we don't want to go too fast. <laughs> Shot me. Okay, we got new monsters up here. Lizfos. Sorry, guys, I don't have time to mess with you. He gets trampled all the time. Finally, we made it. Lucky Clover Grazelle. Yeah. Uh, let's pin it. Let's go to that shrine. And that way we can fast travel back here if need to. kidding about the blizzard part. Huh? There's a dragon up there. That dragon looks familiar.
Okay, a lot of thorns. Thankfully, I know a way to heat things up. Literally. A launching device. I think it's pretty simple explanatory. We are, we're going to want to launch a rocket right into that target. You can also fire a bomb arrow into that target, but um, let's uh, do this first. Uh, wrong. Did not mean to do that. Bullseye. Okay, same thing as before, but we're going to want to do it to a cart this time. This works. Whee! We can also fuse a rocket to uh, one of our shields. And that way we can get a rocket shield. <laughs> and travel like this. Another shrine accomplished. Visitor of the Shrine of Light. You have done well to reach this place. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil.
All right, let's talk to these guys. Teresi, our editor, is uh, getting ready for our big Zelda investigation. If you're here to talk about our newspaper, right? Then you can talk to me, and I'm the next in charge. I gotta say, you did a good job finding us out here, so go right on by. It's pretty unusual for a newspaper to be run out of a stable. Teresi cheated the previous owner out of this place. But you see, things are uh, like, don't... Well, like, don't you? You want to be a reporter? Shine light on the truth? Expose the evils on our world? I'll put in a word for a Teresi for you. Hey, quiet! Don't... Don't you, you listen to Pen? I told you I was busy, but if you keep bothering me... Another thing, I bought this place uh, from the owner after we came here a far mutiny and beneficial agreement. How could you stop telling people I cheated out of it, out of him? Oh. All right, sorry, Tracy, but there's a new applicant for, for a porter. I wanted to let you know. Huh? A new applicant? That would be me. Hmm. Hang on. You look like ah. Uh -huh. Hey, wait. Sorry, Pen, but could you give me and this guy a sec here? How about you give me the whole story, Link? I'm the editor of the Lucky Clover Gazette. Here, if you couldn't tell, so don't worry. So I know everyone involved with the story. Para asked me for help you dig in, in into what's happened to Princess Zelda. Now tell me everything exactly what brought you here. Mm. It's like so. Interesting. So that's why she asked you to investigate places seriously impacted by the upheaval. Ah. Well, coming here was a great call. I mean, we're getting tips from all over Hyrule, so many, in fact, it's uh, hard to keep up. And among those tips, I've been uh, hearing uh, someone who looks like prin the princess appearing in all sorts of places. Oh. I was about to assign Penn to chase those leads, but he could use a, a partner. I won't tell Penn who you are, but it's better that no one knows that you're involved. What do you say? Think you can work it with him as we investigate? Of course, I won't ask you to do this for free, although it, that'd be nice. Wait a second. I'm going to get you on a little in incentive t from the back. Here we go. Ta-da! The full set of froggy armor. With that on it, it's easy to cling onto wet surfaces, no slipping. You work with Pen to chase down all the n these new stories. I'll give this to you, armor piece by piece, all yours. Pretty great deal, Link. Anyway, that's my Yay! offer. Pen, you can come back in. Ah. Sorry now, this guy's your partner. Huh. Well, if our editor says you're in, it looks like you've uh, sized up right. Tracy knows how to pick them. Ah. All right, you two. Here's what you're going to do. Visit every sable for leads. Pen, you'll head this up. Tables bring in people, people bring in details, and details is what we need. Now get me some news. A planet's old princess sightings. Oh. Listen up, partner. We're on a trail of, uh, for the truth about Princess Zelda. We can't let the smallest clue slip through our talons. Or hands in your case. We should visit as many stables as we can. Travelers always have plenty of uh, things going on to talk about. Uh -oh. Soar along! Alright, catch you later, buddy. <laughs> Let us make some uh, cooking stuff. Let us do some cooking here.
Let me guess, you have business in Rito Village as well? Well, sorry to disappoint you, but there's the bridge is down. There's no way across. Since the newspaper article ran out about Rito short food shortage, so supply shipments have started to arrive, which is great. But with no bridge, there's no way to transport goods to the Rito. I'm at my wit's end here. It's so cold. I might have to throw another Hylian pinecone onto the fire. Those things burn hot. Last time I stoked uh, the fire with one and a gust of wind made my bangs all frizzy. Recently, that that guy, uh, Gali, tossed one into the fire next to the, some newspapers. The newspapers caught up in a gust of wind and flew all the way to Rito Village. Well, I think she just gave us a clue on how to cross this. Uh, Highland Pinecone, Highland Pinecone. Ah. Catch you later. That's right, you're going to want to throw a Highland Pinecone into the fire. And with that, we just reached Rito Village. Arrows times five. Yeah, aside from the snowstorm, uh, Rito Village has definitely seen better days. Nice, we got a shrine. Now I can fast travel here. the winds. I think it's gonna be pretty much just <laughs> ah. self-explanatory was the rest of my sentence. Gotta watch out for those lasers though. Let's try this again. Must be a sucker for pain. Right one part down. Right through the wind tunnel.
inside treasure chest number one, we get a strong construct bow, but you know, let's get rid of our old wooden bow. Take a picture for the Hyrule Complendium. Yeah, this picture is better. Say cheese. Nice. Uh, let's uh, fast travel back to uh, Lookout Landing for our uh, for our blessings. Let us get a heart container this time. And more gloom has been purified. Yep, I knew there'd be a Korok under that rock.
And we're gonna need that uh, feather armor, so let's sell some of our materials. I can always get more uh, stuff like this uh, through uh, Amiibos. I'll take the snow quill tunic. Uh, so I can't buy the snow quill uh, trousers yet, but I can buy the headdress. Oh, that'll go give us some uh, good uh, cold resistance. Let's do some more cooking here. Dare I try this? Yeah, I didn't think that would work. Couple bright caps for when if and when I go back to exploring the depths. Finally, find some answers here in Rito Village. Huh? 
did it again. The beds are too soft and inviting. Hmm? Ah, a customer. Who's sleeping? I wasn't sleeping, not me. Welcome to the Swallows Roost Inn. We don't have any other guests at the moment, so rest easy and rest well. Uh, so too soft. We uh, spent all our money on our uh, new gear, so. And we enter Tulin. Mm. And our own friend Teba. Link, they told me you were missing. It's good to see you're doing well. Teba is the new retail elder, by the way. It's very nice to see you again. Huh. Do you remember my son Tulin? He's grown taller. Perhaps not as uh, grown up yet. Uh. Well, maybe not. Well, maybe I would be if you wouldn't treat me like a hatchling all the time. <laughs> as long as you think, still think you can take on the world by yourself, you'll always be my little chick. <laughs> what? You think I can't? I'm already a full-fledged, you know. I'll change your tune once I ace today's scouting trip. You all can keep uh, wasting your time uh, threatening, uh, treating the storm arc, uh, song of the stormwind arc, uh, like it's real, but not me. Listen, you. Unbelievable. Tulin wants me to let him go find what's going on, causing the blizzard. He's having uh, trouble hearing. No. Something about a song? It's an old folk song here in Needle Village. Long, long ago, we were faced with a difficult sort of upheaval in the village. Was saved the thanks to a great flying ship. Or so the song claims that's been passed down through the generations. It's a song for our children, mind you. Few adults uh, still parrot it as it is, were true. Still, every now and then you get reports among the Rito of a flying ship. Combined with the blizzard caused by this upheaval, it seems less far-fetched. Up there? Even if the song of the storm and dark is uh, just a children's rhyme, I suspect that there's something lurking high in the sky. But the air is so turbulent right now, there's no Rito that can fly close enough to look into it. That's why I say we need to make we need to be careful of preparations uh, to find the truth. But Tulin, he thinks he can uh, we can cling that song out of our cowardice. But these are Rito matters. You came for some purpose, yes? Yes, to find Princess Zelda. What's th That's terrible news, so then not even Hyrule Castle is safe. If Princess Zelda's disappearance and the strange phenomenon around the world are so related somehow, hmm. We Rito would love to... Well, we Rito would ordinarily love to contribute to your search. But this abnormal blizzard shows uh, no sign of stopping, and food has grown scarce. Everyone can barely sp 
I could, everyone I could uh, spare is already out searching for the blizzard or scavenging for food. My husband isn't able to leave the, the village much since becoming the village elder. I wish there was something I can do. Ah, uh, but maybe I'm not one you, you should want. You should try asking Hearth. My friend Hearth has source, many sources of information. He might already have a lead about Princess Zelda. See the two bonfires out, out that way? Hmm. He's in that lodge near there. I'd like you to try visiting him. Alright. Our new main objective is with Tulin of the Rito Village. Alright, uh, that's going to be for our next video, so I hope you can join me for that as we continue the strange phenomenon in the Rito areas. Until then, Megalink signing off. Enjoy the rest of your night, folks. Hey, Mega fans, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like, comment, hit the subscribe button, and share this video. It would help me out a lot. Also, follow me on my social media, such as my Facebook page, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch channel for my live streams, and more. And if possible, leave a tip to support me on Ko-fi and Patreon. Thanks for watching again, and until then, MLJ signing off. Until next time, Megalink fans.